The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. If you fish recreationally, you often go to a front to catch fish. At that, uh, that interface, uh, there tends to be an accumulation of all kinds of organisms. And the front is the location where you have a change between the cold shelf waters and the warm off-shelf uh, off waters. There's a big density difference between waters of the continental shelf and the continental slope. And when you have a density difference, it tends to drive currents there. So the currents, they get to the continental slope and they can't go anywhere uh, along the bottom, so they have to go upwards. And we think that that's what really boosts the productivity and then raises the abundance of, of marine life right up the food chain. So all these physical processes are going to have different influences on different uh, organisms because they change the, the chemistry of the water, they change the temperature of the water, and therefore they change the habitat for the, the organisms. The Pioneer Array offers a lot of value in its ability to sample at, at space and time scales that we haven't historically uh, targeted. As a physical oceanographer, you're trying to take in all the information that's going on uh, on the ship, the surface salinity, the surface temperature, the profile that you've just done from the last time you lowered the instrument. I'm so excited to be able to uh, put together uh, sightings of marine mammals with uh, abundance of zooplankton and really try and, and figure out the puzzle of how the, the exact temperature and salinity conditions and frontal structure then might play into what we see biologically. This line here delineates most likely the front and what you can see is a, a big local maximum here in the dark red and uh, that may very well be fish concentrating right here. It's just amazing. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. What was very interesting in this cruise is that we started out doing some sampling over in the west near the new ocean observatory, the Pioneer Array. But then when we moved to the eastern line where it was much saltier and much warmer, uh, five or six degrees C warmer, uh, we really didn't see as much life, uh, marine life there, the zooplankton or the small fish. The feature that we saw to the east with the warm salty water, that's going to flow by the Pioneer Array and so we'll be able to get a better picture of, of how big it is, how long it lasts, uh, what impact it has on say the nutrient distributions there. The Pioneer Array is very important because it enables us to maintain a constant presence. So when there are strong storms, we can't be out here, but the Pioneer Array can be out here. Making more ocean observations is critical and necessary moving forward. If the ocean warms up, the storms are likely to be stronger. Uh, they may possibly be more destructive. And that's one reason we need to keep an eye on, on the continental shelf and what happens here and how the Gulf Stream interacts with it. So I think that the Pioneer Array will continue to play a very important role in identifying the processes uh, by which change is manifesting itself.
To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.